This is Dr. Oblivion. Back from the edge. It's been four weeks now since I was broad since I've been broadcasting to the DS106 folks. And I want to apologize for this extended absence. If I knew what a fateful choice it would be to make Jim Groom my TA as opposed to Martha Burtis, I really don't think I would have ever made that choice. In fact, I don't even think DS-106 really needs a TA. That said, it's good to be back. I once again get a sense of the people and the community and how you've come together in my absence. From what I understand, and I have to say, I'm still a bit weak, and my understanding is fragmented at best. What I understand, the community really rallied against, or shall I say for, me in my absence. Rallied for my return. And for that I'm grateful and honored and humbled. And I understand there was some issues with the current TA, Jim Groom, and if you heard the last press conference, you know that the TA to the TA, Martha Burtis, had her own issues. I think we all know what it means to be that close to the edge, to be that close to insanity. But lest we judge too sharply Martha and her actions, let us all take a deep look inside, inside every one of us inside those of us who decided to play and those of us who decided not to. Those of us who decided to give and to share and those of us who decided to glide and pretend. Those of us who came to play and those of us who came to bitch. We need to think long and hard because when this class is over, you'll still be you, just like I will still be Dr. Oblivion. And when I had my time alone in the hell, that pit of hell, that dark pit of hell with spiders, power tools, fire trucks, I saw things. I saw things I don't ever want to see again. But I also realize things, that the idea of touch, the physical and the virtual, is far more important than anything I can teach you. And you all need to figure that out for yourselves. There is a touch that no one can instruct you about, a very special, lurid, unsavory touch that hides in the hearts of men and women. And I, I, I saw the other side of it. This is Dr. Oblivion coming to you live. Camp Oblivion. My family's resting place, and what I, for a quick moment, thought would be my final resting place. But it's not. I've lived, at least for now. That's it. I'm going to have an interview with Jim Groom in a little bit. Dr. Oblivion. What is this I hear? Doctor. Hmm. Is that Father? who I think it is? Bianca? Bianca. Doctor. Father. Bianca. It's been so long. Yes. 27 long years. 
like the Europeans. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Father. It's just... It's been so long, indeed. Come into the screen. Bianca, what do you have to say? I've spoken volumes. I... I braced the outside world to come see you today. Is it true that Jim Groom banished you from DS-106? It is. I'll be talking to him about that. Thank you. Thank you. I heard that in my absence, he tried to keep the ship straight. I did. But, unfortunately, Jim thwarted every attempt to keep me from teaching about what I believed was important to you. Understood. I worked so hard to keep up your ideas and what I thought you would have taught if you had been here. Bianca, you are a legacy. You bring it to me the truth. And when I was in that long, dark hole that Martha Burtis had locked me in, I realized the only thing that is important is an internet connection in your family. Oh, Father, I admit, despite trying to uphold everything you have previously said to me in my heart, those are perhaps the words I long to hear the most. Well, we're home again, and we can start a new chapter in the Oblivion Saga. <laughs>